Joined by James, aka Sharky. Uh, two 0 You you sat with us tonight, James. Uh, first of all, what do you make of our company? Oh, you were a brilliant company. I'm glad I sat next year's really next time. Eh? <laughs> next next game. Right. So in serious matter, though, two 0 win tonight. One wasn't the greatest performance. Wolves were really poor. I felt professional. Would you say? Would you agree along with that? Yeah, I thought we were putting a professional performance. I thought we had to show up today because Saturday just wasn't good enough. And Rafa would have had a go at them to say, you know, you've got to give the fans something. And he's obviously he's a cup man, so he says just go for it, give it everything, and you know, give something back to the fans because they pay the harder money to go to these games. Yeah, looking at the attendance, thirty-four thousand, much better against Cheltenham. Prices reduced. Atmosphere as you would expect, a little bit low, but it's a cup game. Uh, changes wise, were you surprised by any or would you like to see any other players come in, in the lineup? Uh, no, I was actually taken by surprise, but at the same time, it's the cup and Rafa, like I say, he's a cup man, so he wants to change the team around. And I think Murphy had a really good game. Um, I thought Lazar played really well, I thought he looked very comfortable. Um, obviously, Handy came in, I thought he looked very confident on the ball. His communication skills were brilliant. Um, he'd be my man, my man of the match. Yeah, we were talking during the match, uh, both were kind of green that he was organising, he was clearing it. I mean, Challenging him in the air, he's a beast, isn't he? Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, clear standout man of the match for you? Yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, people say Richie, I thought Richie played really well, but yeah, my standout man of the match is definitely Hanley because he was just you know, physically strong, communication, everything, it just was there today. Now, just looking at the how we played the night, we attacked the wings more than what was on the game on Saturday, we went straight for the middle. Yes. Attacking the wings this time paid dividends. We got two goals from the right in con quick concession. Gufran. Oh, I mean, about Gufan's goal. Cool. Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, I mean, I mean, the one, two. I mean, what can I say? Absolutely I mean, stunning. I mean, this lad, I mean, he's come out of the blue. Done, well, we thought his future was gone. Hardly can get in the side for the last, what, year, 18 months? Well, I can't, I can't disagree, because I was one of them fans that were saying, you know, get rid of him, he's not good enough. I was but, then, well. but, but then again, it was Steve McLaren. Steve McLaren couldn't manage anybody. And if there's any one manager that could actually get the best out of a player, and that's Rafa Benitez, and he's just, um, you know, he's been unbelievable. Good friend, and I hope he continues to get a run in the team. I mean, I never questioned Rafa's, um, you know, his, his teams, but I was a bit surprised that he never started on Saturday. But then again, that's what Rafa decided to choose on Saturday. Yeah, come, moving on, uh, obviously, the Saturday. Um, we know that it's not going to be the same side. Is there anybody from that lineup tonight you want to see stay in the side? Uh, yes, I would. I would definitely keep uh, Hanley because I thought he played unbelievable. Um, who would you drop? Uh, who would I drop? Probably Clark. I'd just Clark. So would it be what Hanley Lascelles? Yeah, Hanley Lascelles. I thought them two. I think this season are going to be rocks at the back. Who would um, be the left back after tonight then? Do left it? back. Uh, mm, I will play Lazar again. Play Lazar uh, yeah, again. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. Yes, yes. Nothing against uh, Paul Dummett. I just think Lazar looked very comfortable tonight. Yes, yeah, but. I noticed tonight, Shelby wasn't picking the ball off the defence and trying to ping it as much as it was on Saturday. See, Rafa's had a word in his ear, hasn't he? Yes, he has, yeah. So, steady performance. Yes. Just Playing on the wings. Now, we're going to go to Villa on, obviously, the weekend. We haven't got the greatest record at Villa Park. Villa fans, we've got to, got to get one on them because, obviously, they'll, they'll always laugh at us. How do you think we're going to line up? We know Gale's surely going to come in. Um, do you know what? I would just I would go all out attack. Just go all out attack. I mean, it's Villa Park. They haven't had the best start of the season. I mean, what they picked up five points from a possible what? Eight points in eight. Yeah. Games, isn't it? So it's not all eight points maybe, but they, they haven't had the best of starts. So I mean, Villa. Why can't we just go for it? I mean, we're, we're playing really well away from home. You know, we've got a really good performance against Derby. We've got a really good, comfortable win away at QPR, and we seem to be playing better away than what we're doing at home. I don't know why that is, but you know, I don't see why why Rafa would just you know just go for it. Just try, yeah, try, try and go for the points earlier on. Looking at going to the Villa then, so who would you play? Are you in the attacking? Would you go with the one up top? Diarmi tonight, what do you make of him? Would you play him or would you bring Perez in or would you go Mitro and Gale? Um, do you know what? I would go uh, Mitro and Gale. Uh, I, thought, I thought Diarmi was a little bit uh, sloppy. I don't know what you think, but he was a bit sloppy today. I felt he was better than what he was on Saturday, but I, th I still think he he's got another gear to go with Diarmi. Yeah, that's what I felt, like a bit of, bit of more room for improvement, oh. but he'll, he'll learn, he'll learn. Do you think it would have been another mini crisis if we got put out the cup tonight? Mm, I, it, it, well, it wouldn't. It just that would have been two defeats in the back of the Yeah, I think. I think I wouldn't have panicked. It would be more like, well, you know, it would be nice to have got through, which we've got, which I'm happy about. We've got through, but it's more like, you know, we're we're through now. And I think even if we did go out, it's, we can focus on the league because yeah. the FA Cup wouldn't start till January anyway. So it'd be more like just focus on the league and just go for it. But I'm so glad we've got through. I'm happy because I'm like I say, I'm I'm a fan that believes that we should be going through in the cups. So we should be progressing, not taking steps back. And yeah. I think, you know, Rafa's the man to take it forward and I hope we continue to, you know, to progress in the cup and hopefully we'll get Liverpool at home. I was just about to ask you, is that how you want Liverpool? The Liverpool, I think if we get Liverpool, Liverpool? 
Liverpool, it, you know, big big club. They've got you know good supporters. Um, you know, they're, they're guaranteed you know to, to pack out the away end. And Liverpool's always been one of them big fixtures for Newcastle. If you know, if you look back in time, you know the four frees at Anfield. You know, we've, we've, you know the last season we won two 0 You know, we always play to play well against the better teams. And I think if we if we did get Liverpool in the next round, fifty two thousand would be, be a big night buzzing. Yeah. Finally, just going to go back to Saturday. Give me a scoreline prediction uh, for Villa away. Do you know what? I'm going to stick my neck on the 2-0 Newcastle. You're welcome, mate. You're welcome.